there, teacher. Welcome to my channel. My name is Asia, but you may know me as the sassy math teacher. I'm a seventh grade math teacher who loves creating resources for my own classroom, and I also sell curriculum online. But when I'm not doing that, I love helping teachers like you get started with creating your own resources. Today is the first day in a new series, and the series is called PowerPoint Tips and Tricks for Teachers. Each week, I'll be coming at you with a bite-sized episode where I'll just show you something quick that you can do in Microsoft PowerPoint. You can look forward to four weeks of these bite-sized tutorials, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notified for each new episode. And I may add a little bonus in there. All right, are you ready to dive in? Let's go. In this first video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own clip art right inside of PowerPoint. All you need are some shapes and you just have to get creative and visualize the different shapes that create the image that you want. So for this quick bite-sized episode, I'm just going to show you how you can make a pencil. Okay, so we're basically going to use like three different shapes. The first shape is going to be a circle. So go ahead and put a circle there. Um, and you get a perfect circle by just clicking the screen. Okay. Um, but technically for a pencil, we don't want a perfect circle. So I'm going to stretch this down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and make that the color of an eraser because that is going to be our eraser. Mm, that looks close enough and we are going to give it no outline for now. We may change that later, but for now, we'll just stick to no outline. The next thing we're going to want to do is add in a rectangle. So I can go right up here to shapes and I'm going to click the rectangle and I'm going to start at that middle dot and start drawing out the main part of my pencil. Okay. Now, we want it to align as best we can with that eraser. So I'm just going to zoom in. Ba -da -ba -boom. Okay, that looks mm, close enough. Almost. We want it a little better, though. Okay, I'm going to stretch it out a little more. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, and when I take that outline, it should be pretty much much more perfect okay so now this is going to be mustard because that's the color of a pencil right all right now what else does a pencil need the lead am i right all right so we're going to go ahead and get another shape notice i'm clicking from a different screen now that's all right so uh the tip of our pencil is going to be a triangle so you can just draw one and then rotate it but now we're going to zoom in again to get it a little more lined up with the base of our pencil. Okay. All right. Now this part is going to be gray and I'm going to give it no outline. Okay. All right. So at this point you can see like the makings of a pencil, right? Isn't that cool? So fun. Okay. The other thing we want it to look a little more natural. And we also actually need the tip of our pencil. So we have a few more things we have to do. Um, one of those things is adding in like um, a DIY shape. Okay. And technically pencils are more brown, aren't they? Yeah, they're more brown. All right. Let's see here if I can find a nice brown. You can do what I'm doing or you can go here and just choose a pencil. Um, but let's see. It's a little dark. It's a little dark. So I'm going to move in. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Good enough. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just kind of make this blend into the yellow a little bit better. So what we're going to do is use this freeform uh, shape here. So I'm going to draw like that indent part of the pencil by just tapping. And then we have to close the shape and you'll see it'll close like that. All right, so now I'm gonna make it that same color and then no outline, okay? Now let's just make sure it goes all the way down. All right, that looks good. You can select both of those and go ahead and group them. Right click and do group. 
Gotta set my coffee. Okay, now, pencils need a couple more things. Just a couple more things. One of those things is the tip. Um, you know, the actual lead. So I'm going to grab the triangle again. And I'm just clicking the screen that time. And I'm going to drag it to make it a little smaller. Rotate it here so I can go on that tip of the pencil. And let's, I love how I'm leaning like close to the screen. I do that all the time when I could just zoom in instead of hurting my neck. But you live and you learn. I just haven't learned yet. All right. So I made it black and now we have that. Look at that little pencil. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and group that now. Um, I just grouped everything. The other thing we need would be some lines to add some depth to this. So I keep zooming in and zooming out, but I'm zooming back in now. We're just going to grab some lines. So just click that line. Now it's going to pop up with all these green dots that are going to try to like, the, the purpose of those is is to connect, um, but we don't want a flow chart on our pencil. So just try your best to click around them and then hold down the shift key as you draw your line. And so there we have our first line. And we're going to make it black, maybe make it a little thick. Is that too thick? That's a little thick. Okay. It's a little, a little thick. And we can, uh, you know what? I'm just going to drag it over a little bit because we're eventually going to bring, send it to the back. All right. So I actually, though, I don't, well, I can edit it later. We're going to draw all of the lines first and then we're going to make them a little shorter. So I right clicked or you can right click and do copy and paste or I did command D to duplicate that line. And I'm going to do it a couple more times. So I have four of them. I'm going to scoot them up a little bit. And what I said about dragging, I'm just going to drag them. Oh, make sure they're all selected. They are all selected. Hold up. I guess I can't move all of them at the same time, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, you can move them individually. Okay, I'm just trying to get them lined up perfectly here. Do those look straight or should we start over? Let's see. Mm. Oh, they might be straight enough. Okay, so now we're just going to add like that little piece of the pencil that's usually like silver, but it's not going to be silver. So what I just did was made another line. I'm getting ahead of myself. All I did, because I want a line that has like the same thickness of this one, I duplicated it. And let's just drag it down here so we can work with it. Now I'm just going to drag it so it's a vertical line instead. And make sure um, the height is zero so that tells you it's a straight line. And now we're going to place it here. And this will tell us if that was a straight. Okay. Good, en good enough. All right. And let's just make sure that this is as lined up as possible. I think that's good. All right, I'm going to duplicate that again by doing Command D. And one more time. And let's drag that one a little more over. Okay. So now that looks like a decent pencil. Well, do you think it looks like a de decent pencil? Maybe. You like that? Okay. What we're going to do now is I'm actually, I know, I'm going a little backwards, but we're going to ungroup everything. That way that I can bring this tip of my pencil. Let me make sure that tip is on it. I do want to keep those part, those three parts grouped. Um, and if you don't know what I'm doing, we can go to the selection pane. And you can see, move, move my head. You can see what is selected here. Um, so I want it's group seven, which is my free form and my triangle and then group eight, which is that tip. Okay. So I'm just going to group those together. And now you see how those black lines are on top of it. I don't want it to be like that. So I'm going to right click this group and just bring it to the front. So it's on top of it. Okay. Um, and so technically you can stop with your pencil there. If you're like me, 
you may want to add a little bit of shadow to it. Um, but what we can do is just go ahead, right click all of this again, and group it. And to make this a picture, you right click and you save as a picture. Um, I'm not going to do that because you'll see everything on my desktop and it is a mess. I'm embarrassed with how messy it is. <clears throat> you understand. So what I'm going to do is copy. So I right clicked and did command C, but you can also do this copy and then right click and do paste. And you'll see this clipboard pop up. When that pops up, choose paste this picture. Okay. So now our pencil is a picture. It is no longer, um, like multiple pieces together. All right, so you just made your own clip art. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to do a few font effects and like set up the basis of a handwriting worksheet. So make sure you come back for that one. All right, see you later.